What's up guys, Xbox Tech Junkie back today with another video. Today's gonna be a very short video because we are unboxing the Shock Blue Xbox wireless controller. Uh, I was hoping to get this last week with the console, but the shipment took longer than expected. So let's just jump right in the video and get unboxing. Okay, so first off, this is obviously the brand new packaging for Xbox controllers. Uh, it is very similar to the very last packaging. Um, just now it kind of shows you the exact name of the controller, gives a nice little better picture and perspective of it. On the side you have your information stuff, which consoles and platforms it works for. On the back it gives you some of the rundowns of the features, like share button, hybrid D-pad, not hybrid, but new D-pad. Oh, I guess it does say hybrid. Rude. Um, texture triggers, texture uh, grips, and all that kind of stuff. And then the back just kind of shows like, a nice little cool, unique picture of the controller. So let's take a look at the actual controller with our handy dandy knife. Actually, we don't. They have tabs on these, like on the Xbox Series S. Good, good on you, Microsoft. I like that. The tabs make the um, opening process much easier. So, same as always with any controller, you open it up and ta-da. It does look like there's some weird stuff all over my controller, but that's just from the box and it looks like. So, you take it out. Only thing left in here is going to be the AA batteries and some of the manual stuff. So, nothing too crazy should you want to see a look inside the box. Have some batteries. Actually, I do wonder if it still does come with at least 14 days of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. So I'm gonna hold this up to the camera. If it doesn't fit, don't worry. I'm gonna put it down so you can read it. But whoever gets that 14 day trial first gets it. Hopefully that focused. If not, again, it will be available. Um, on the screen for you guys but anyway let's move on from the packaging and let's talk about the controller so overall the controller in terms of features and everything is the exact same to the new control a wireless controller uh, but this is the shock blue so you'll see the entire front is covered in like just a blue design the d-pad is black the bumpers and backing uh, so the backing is all white while the bumpers and everything up here is all black same thing for the bottom it's all white so, I mean, there's nothing really much to talk about with this controller. Um, I will overly say, like, the new controller has become my favorite controller I've ever used, um, even more than my Elite controller, and I don't know why, because it is, it's a very small difference between this and the uh, regular controller for Xbox One and the Elite. Like, it's nothing crazy, but something about this controller just feels more comfortable, and it's just much more engaging to use. I don't know what it is, but... Like I said, overall, nothing too crazy with this controller. Here's a better look at it. Got your nice front. You'll probably see some stuff on the thumbsticks. That's just packaging. Uh, got some black up here. White on the back. White on the bottom. Still have our regular 3.5 millimeter jack and our, can't remember the exact name of this port, but whatever you would use for like the original Xbox One headsets. We're gonna put that right there with the brand new Master Chief. So, these are two of the three first sets of Xbox wireless controllers to release. The other one would be the Carbon Black, which I don't have access to. I will hopefully have access to it once I find a Series X. Uh, but yes, these are the controllers. Uh, like I said, if you're using an Xbox One and you need a new controller, one, this will work perfectly on your Xbox, no problems. I believe the share button even works just as the same. Um, but overall, this controller is really good. I recommend going out and grabbing one if you're having problems with your current controller, you need an extra controller, or if you're just like me and like to collect. Um, the, it's a really good controller. There's no doubt about it. I will be doing a full review of the Xbox Series S in a couple of days, and I'll do another full review on the overall controller performance and all that jazz. But that is pretty much it for today's video. Very quick and very short one. Um, hopefully the next unboxing I do will be the Series X, but thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day.